Okay, I am really excited for this video. Getting to build with Python different scripts to automate my life sounds like a really good idea. There's so much in my life that I can automate and I'm going to share with you today some really cool and honestly really simple Python projects that you can build to automate your life. But not only are these scripts really interesting for actually automating your life and doing really cool stuff, but it's a great way to show potential and future employers different projects or things that you are working on. A lot of these scripts can really be built out into quite large projects that you can make around them, push them to your GitHub, show you are constantly building, and it's just a really fun thing to do. Okay, let's get started. Oh wait, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, career-related videos. Leave in the comments other videos you wanna see, and let's get to it. Where are we going? We're not going too far. Before we get into it though, I wanna say a big thank you to Intel and their One API tools and libraries for sponsoring this video. This is a cross-architecture developer's dream suite, making it easy to port code between platforms and even providing a certain level of future-proofing. This is a great tool for devs working with AI, Internet of Things, uh, cloud, and so much more. One API is not only a huge benefit for your toolkit, but also it saves a ton of time. I link them down below, so make sure to go check them out for more details and to start building with them. Something I've been wanting to build for a while is a script that will take a PDF and turn it into an audio file. Oftentimes if I'm studying or learning something new and it's in PDF format and I have to spend so much time reading it, I would prefer to just be listening to it. So I built a script with Python that will take any PDF and convert it into an audio file. Let's get building. First thing we are going to be building, as I mentioned, is turning a PDF into an MP3 file. And this is super simple, there's two packages required, but before we get into it, last time I made a Python project, I got a lot of questions around setting up the project in Python, because last time we used REPL, REPLit, this time we are in VS Code, so I'm going to share with you a few commands to A, ensure you are installed, Python is installed, and really how to get your virtual environment running. First thing we need to do is check that you have Python installed or what Python version you have. And of course, if you don't have Python installed, pause this video and go install it. We're not gonna do that in this video because it's pretty self-explanatory online. All right, so you can see I have Python 3.9.10 installed. Then what we need to do is get our virtual environment up and running. So first of all, you can see um, in the project, I already have it up and running, but just to show you what I did. So type in this command here. Then we type in source, because my spelling is just not, not there. Okay, so now you can see we are in our virtual environment. Next up, we need to install these two packages. So we go, and once again, I am the worst speller on the planet. So let me just copy this command I've written down. Install, and then P-Y-T-T-S-X-3. And this is actually a module that is a text-to-speech conversion library in Python. And this is going to be a huge help in getting us to convert our uh, text into speech. There we go. Next up, we need to install PYPDF. And I already installed this as well, but I just want to go through the process with you to ensure you understand it. And this one here that we just installed is a Python library used for performing major tasks on PDF files. And in this case, we have a book PDF. So any PDF you want to turn into audio, put it in your project directory. Okay, now let's get into some coding, the fun part. So first of all, what we need to do is open the PDF. So let's call this PDF reader. Oops, I told you I can't spell today. And then let's use this package here. Here we are going to pass in the PDF. In this case, mine is called book PDF. Next up, we need to initiate the speaker. So use the other package.
text. So strip the text. And let's print the clean text just to make sure it is there. And then we want to actually take that speaker and save it to file to save it as an mp3 and pass in the clean text and what do we now we pass in whatever we want to call this mp3 file i'm going to call it story story.mp3 and then we stop it all right moment of truth Oh, we can see it printed out the text and we have our mp3 this is really simple it's really fun easy project i made two modules from python and it's a really really simple thing to build but you can imagine how powerful it can get when you are using large pdfs if you want specific pages there's so much you can play around with this so i will link all the code below and i really encourage you to uh really take this, clone this, and build on top of it. Build a really cool project. And it sh really shows initiative when you are pushing things to GitHub, that you are building things like this and expanding on them. And also too, when you are looking for uh, future jobs. Okay, project two. This is a big one. I'm not even going to show you. If you've seen past videos, you've seen my desktop folder or my desktop, and it's a disaster. Equally as bad, if even worse, is actually my downloads folder. So I wanted to build a Python script that we could actually use to clean out my downloads folder. And for this, I wanted to be specific into which file formats I wanted to be able to delete. Let's get into it. Okay, project number two that we are going to be doing is being able to access our downloads folder and then delete specific files from that folder. And this is something that I'm sure you all had uh, the instances of where your downloads folder is just kind of out of control. For this, I'm going to do it that it deletes specific files, but you could also really add on to this so it's for the entire downloads folder or different extensions, but I really wanted to do this as the base so you can build upon it. And I'm not going to go through, again, the showing you how to uh, start the virtual environment. I'm assuming that you have done that from the previous project. First thing we need to do is import and install the OS module, which really gives us access to our operating system. Then we need to give a file path that we want to access. And in this case, there's construction going on. And in this case, we are going to be accessing our downloads. So replace Tiffany Jansen with your name or the name that's on your computer. Okay, there we go. And then else, we will print this file. And, oh, it's really annoying that I did one with one quote and after there. This file does not exist. Okay, so we have the file path here, as you can see, but we need to give it a specific file. So let me go to my downloads folder. I am not going to show you this folder because it's a disaster. This is why we are doing this. And one file that I want to delete today is copy it. And it's actually an invoice of my dog's surgery. But once again, you could, we could replace this and make it dynamic to delete all PDFs or delete everything in the downloads folder. I just wanted to start small to show you this. Also, if you didn't catch it from last time, a simple way to run um, Python in your terminal is right click, and then it's like right or left click, right click, and then go run Python file on terminal. So we should get it successfully deleted. This file has successfully been deleted, yay. But then if I was to run it again, because now it doesn't exist, it should say this file does not exist. 
the salad sizes. There you have it. Those are two really small but fun things to do. Think of different ways that you could even put these together. And it's really just playing around with different modules in Python, doing some kind of conditional statements and um, whatnot. But it's such a fun way to think of different projects to build and expand upon. So I linked my GitHub down below, which will feature both of these. And okay, we've done our work here recently. Okay, we have built some really cool scripts if you ask me. I'm curious to know what else should we automate? What should we automate next? Leave down in the comments and let's continue building together. I linked the projects down below too. So make sure to go check them out, build them, then build on top of them. Like I said, it's a great way to add to your portfolio, to contribute to, you know, bulk up your GitHub, all of that. Okay, you can see the sun is out. It's time to go enjoy the weekend. Bye everyone.